in the last episode. Gathering all the chromes generated by the views and likes from the previous Aphelios episode, our protagonist uses it to forge a powerful artifact also known as the Omni Stone, giving him access to all the keystones, although most of it are really not that good on Pike. But I gotta say, it's one of the fun runes to take on Pike. RNG game filled with RNG players? Might as well take the RNG rune. A fight starts as both teams tries to get the dragon, Why guy executed two of his enemies simultaneously with a single death from below, generously giving the dragon to the enemy because they need it more than Why guy. but in exchange, Why guy takes their precious lives executing two of them, taking the quadruple kill like a true Jin main. No. Stop. Please Papa don't do this. Do not give us hope. Various flashes out of Y Guy's Phantom Undertow, homosexually shooting his galactic arrows on Papa thinking that he's safe. The RNG gods blesses Papa with the power of Dark Harvest, Ghost Water diving to re-engage. Y Guy stabs the low health Varus in his leg with his dagger damaging his pancreas. Various flashes out of Y Guy's Phantom Undertow once again, so Papa uses his ultimate as a gap closer, turning his back on Varus like a cool guy as Tristana's bomb explodes taking the kill with Ignite. Graves arrives looking for vengeance, but Y Guy's inhuman reactions allows him to perfectly time shining jaundice after he took every damage from his enemies as possible. A combination of snipes from the enemy bot lane allows LeBlanc to eliminate Y Guy's underaged support. Senna and Varys got greedy planning to also kill Papa. Y Guy fires a warning hook telling his pursuers to turn away or there will be consequences. They didn't listen, so Papa unleashes psychotic assault on Senna, teaching this African American woman to stay out of his neighborhood. You may be wondering, how did we end up from this? To this. Well, like a famous quote once said, life is like a box of chocolate, you never know when you're gonna die from diabetes from eating too much get some exercise you fat piece of I'm sorry. It appears that the result of game 1 has made the one editing this video a little too carried away. Based on how game 1 turned out, you can clearly see that our protagonist is laying the foundation in the early game so they can win.
The raids invades putting Lee Sin's life in danger. A bunch of flashes blinded Lee Sin making him miss his cue. Good thing an African American man carries guns that made things easier for them. Lee Sin blind joke ha ha classic comedy like and subscribe by the way. Also feel absolutely free to share the video only if you really want to. Wygar got the most out of his ultimate in this fight as he executes the chameleon of questionable gender, asking for Baldemir's assistance. Wygar prepares the most powerful move in his weapons of disorder, Forgotten Dementia. Unfortunately, Papa dementially forgot that he already procured his electrocute on Nico. Fun and balanced. I guess the beating that Y guy's parents gave him in the early stages of his life caused him to not believe in himself. Just kidding, Y guy's parents never gave him a beating, they were never there to begin with. A strange feeling came upon our protagonist at this point in time, seeing as how his team is performing in the late game, he fears that the bad side of RNG that haunted him in game 1 is still lurking and is about to ruin this game. Why guy refuses to repeat the same fate that happened in game 1, using his secret pipe build that's supposed to come out in the next episode. Why guy battles RNG with consistency using electrocute, buying the Amat for his 6th item, our protagonist proceeds to split push his way to victory.